Welcome back, DSS. You are watching episode nine of our virtual conference. We're glad you joined us. And uh, we want to acknowledge that uh, we're still in challenging times, chaotic times for the workplace. And especially in trying to still figure out the best ways to bring our workforce back to the workplace in, the, in a safe and healthy and productive manner. Uh, so that uh, I am reminded that um, of the quote that in the midst of chaos lies opportunity. And I have seen that within the department in terms of program areas and people getting very creative about how to do our day-to-day -day work under very new circumstances. So with that in mind, uh, this episode, uh, episode nine creates, has two segments in it. Um, the first, Stacy Dunmire is going to be giving us tips for staying positive even when it feels as though things are falling apart. Second segment is Andrea Huber and she's going to be showing us how to remain positive and uh, create positive fuel for the mind. So, and free free fuel. So nothing gets better than that. Listen, everybody, I hope you enjoy episode nine. Thank you. Have you ever felt like things are just crashing down around you? Have you ever felt like trying to stay positive is a chore? There is one thing that we have inside of us that can help us try to stay on track and that is our attitude. It may be hard, but staying positive, even when things are difficult, is key to bouncing back. According to an article titled, Three Ways to Stay Positive, Even When It Feels Like Everything's Falling Apart, there are three main tips to help you stay positive, even when times are tough. Focus on your end goal. You've got to remember where you're going if you want to get there. Your past, no matter how difficult, has only created life up till now. Remember your end goal and refocus to bring clarity back to your vision. Even if you've found yourself in a hole, you can dig your way out no matter how deep. But first, you've got to make the decision to pick up your shovel and start digging. Your potential is far beyond where you are right now. Write down a few small steps you can take this week and it will bring you closer to where you want to be, essentially making you feel better. Affirm gratitude. When life gives you a losing hand, remember how wonderful it is to still be sitting at the card table. There is always, always, always something to be grateful for, even if it's the fact that you're breathing and listening to this. When you express what you're grateful for, the things you're grateful for will grow. Your thankful attitude is responding to life and bringing more of what you want. Only a gracious, grateful heart will attract more and even better opportunities. Refrain and release your negative energy. Negative energy can be tough to tame when it's hitting you full force. Irritability can occur as you go through the venting process, and sometimes you feel like projecting negativity onto others. It's important to remember that they probably didn't cause your situation, and even if they did, forgiveness is an important lesson to learn in life. Refrain from spreading negative energy around you and try to help maintain positivity, even if it's outside your own experience. Don't crop dust people with your dilemma when you're working through it either. Remember that everyone is fighting some kind of battle and they may have a hard time being able to handle the load. There will be people to support you in your process, but it's important to ask for that support first. It's also important to remember that when an issue arises, consult your very best therapist, your inner voice, your intuition. Here you can vent and explore options that will lead to a solution. Please see the description box below this video for a link to the article referenced in this clip. 
Hope you learned something useful and encouraging. Until next time, thanks for watching. Did you know that nutrition can decrease your stress level? There are actually specific foods that have stress relieving benefits. To learn more about these food options and how to incorporate them into your diet, be sure to register for the De-Stressing Nutrition webinar hosted by April DePriest. Check the description box for registration information. Hi everybody. I am gonna continue on with some of the thoughts that Stacy had started with. I'm gonna focus more on fuel for your mind. We're gonna stay with positivity and how to fuel it with more positive outlooks. So, so a phrase that I want you to think about is, watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character. Watch your character, it becomes your destiny. Positive thinking does not come naturally to many. I am one of the many who need to talk to myself to see the positive side of things. I'm gonna list some, of, some ideas to add some positive fuel to your daily life. The first one I'm gonna talk about is gratefulness. Stacy did mention gratefulness and it can cause immediate shifts in your perspective. A goal, Maybe to take some time at the beginning or end of each day to mention what you are grateful for. Something that I am beginning to ask with from my children is what they are grateful for at the end of each day. We've had a lot of transition in my kids' life. My children are six and eight, and I wanted to focus on for them what is right in their lives. Things that we are grateful for, and they have become very good at it. I'm uh, happy with what, where their thoughts go. It's very, it's very nice. Now, the second thing I want to touch on is two steps forward. Initially, it might be hard to stop the negative flow of thoughts that come into your head. We're ruminating over all of this stuff and it just inhibit, inhibits the positive vibes, if you will, coming into your head. The shift takes time. Be patient. Observe your thought patterns. So when you're home, you're working by yourself, just observe where your thoughts go. See if you can catch yourself judging others, focusing on failures, complaining about work, criticizing yourself, your body, you have these thoughts creep into yourself, creep into your mind. Take a moment to counter each of these thoughts with two positive observations or gratitudes. So you have one negative thought, gain five pounds, my stomach, you know, I don't fit into my pants anymore. You're gonna counter it with, I've been running more, I have been eating more healthy. So those are the things, when you have the one negative thought, you're gonna focus on two positive things. It'll help negate that negative flow of thoughts coming into your brain. The third thing I want to discuss with everybody is positive posture. So the mind and the body have a connection. If you're struggling to move your mind in the positive direction, then you should try fixing your body. Stand straight, shoulders back, chin held high, stretching your arms out. Fake it till you make it. Feel your power, feel your positivity. You're walking into a room, you have negative thoughts, you are going to just get your strength on. And within that strength, you're gonna find the positive positivity to make it through, and you're gonna feel your strength. The next thing, Number four would be to smile. So when you smile, you're, you're tricking yourself to feeling positive, right? You're mopey, you don't feel good, you're stuck in traffic, you're late for work, your children are having a slap fest in the back seat. So you just sit in there smiling, turn the music off as your kids are slapping each other in the back seat for an hour. So you just smile. 
right? It, it, it lessens the frustration. It, it takes it down a notch. The, um, you know, the fuse kind of gets snuffed out a little bit when you smile. Somebody cuts you off, smile. So it just, it's another way to almost fake it till you make it. Like I said before, with the positive posture. So you're smiling, you got a positive posture. There is not anything in the world that can take your positive thoughts away. Is what the people around you are thinking. So number five, big number five here, ditch the craps. The people that are negative, get them out of your life. You do not, if you want a positive outlook on your life, get the people that are negative out. You know who they are, you know where they are, what they say, what they're gonna say. Just don't talk with them. Get them out of your life. See them only when you need to. Talk to them only when you absolutely have to. But ditch the crabs. If you surround yourself with negative people, it's hard to maintain a positive perspective, right? I've been there. We've all been there. Evaluate your circle of friends. It may be time to reevaluate, to go through, to see what needs to be done. And it's okay. Remember. To, to remain positive, it's okay to get the negativity out. And if it's people, then they go. Now, doing something kind. Number six, you cannot do a kindness too soon because you'll never know how soon it'll be too late. The best way to cheer yourself up is to cheer somebody else up. When I was a boy, I would see scary things in the news. My mother would say to me, look at the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. To this day, especially in times of disaster, I remember my mother's words. And I'm always comforted by realizing that there are still so many helpers, so many caring people in this world. So that is from Mr. Rogers. Giving praise costs nothing, but it means the world to the person on the receiving end. The seventh pay it forward stepping outside of your daily routine to help somebody else can give you an amazing perspective so during this time you see a lot of people volunteering at the shelters for dogs meals on wheels there's a dog meal on wheels that my sister-in-law is doing you're you're paying it forward you know um, there was something I can give you the link it's, you know, you can jo join the thousands of people that were paying it forward at the Starbucks line. There's other things out there that you can pay it forward. There was somebody at Thruway Tolls. So you just kind of add to, and the person behind you gets more, gets their toll for free. Things like that. It's paying it forward. The thought that I would like to leave you with is if we are expecting to succeed and not afraid of failing, we have the best chance of staying positive throughout the journey. Thank you so much. Stay positive. Keep smiling. Stand up straight. You got this. See you soon. So that concludes episode nine of our Health and Wellness Conference 2020. I want to thank Andrea and Stacy for their segments in episode nine, and the entire HRD team for putting the episode together. Uh, as always, we wanna hear from you about uh, feedback and uh, requests for future episodes. So you can send that by email to Missy Eloff. Those directions are on your screen. And remind you about an upcoming episode called De-Stressing Nutrition. And that is on July 28th. Interesting title. I haven't seen it, so I'm kind of looking forward to watching that. Uh, a reminder, the special segments that we've produced, the EAP segment and the um, Solutions for Sleep episode is there as well and getting a lot of viewership. And all our past episodes are there. So you might as well just consider subscribing to that YouTube uh, conference channel. The directions are on your screen, and that way you'll never miss anything. Uh, so 
Until next time, stay well, wear a mask, and be kind to others. Thank you. <laughs>